Now that we've discussed defining file profiles and added some screens to those files for, uh, to allow us to um, input data and so forth, you'd think that we would go down to the next choice on the creation side of the file pro menu, which would be define output, but I'm not going to. I'm going to skip that and talk about that a little bit later. I need to talk a little bit more about edit types and edits and user edits, defining your own edits and so forth. Um, to do that, I'm going to go back up to define files and add a field or two. So if I press update here, and I'm going to, um, let's see, press F9 and go to the end of the file. By the way, the F9 key, as you see, if I press F9 and hit 8, takes me to field 8. And I press F9 and I actually type an end and hit enter. That's where it takes me to. I'm going to um, put an R here, which actually means reserved to me. It's just a little thing I do for myself. I'm going to put a 0 in this field. I may want to add another notes field later or something like that uh, or something else there. If I wanted to add another associated field, associated fields don't have to be contiguous. They don't have to be next to each other. I could add another N associated field down at um, field 300 or 900. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be next to each other. I just uh, I like I want to keep a little spacer to keep a little clarity on this screen so I can see wh where the groups of things are a little bit easier. Um, and I'm going to add something here. Let's add um, a date field. The, the date we last called um, this uh, customer, let's say. Date called. And I'll use an eight character date, which I want a two, two, two characters for the month, two for the day, two for the year, separated by slashes. That equals eight characters. And to see which kind of edit would do that, I'm going to press F6 while I'm in this field. You can see the edit types that are here. I'm going to press M. There's MDY. That would be six character field, two, two, and two with no slashes. Right below it is the one I want. And, um, let's, let's add, uh, I hit enter to get that, by the way. And I'm going to add date. Oh, an update. Let's let's put time called the last time we called them, um, and that's also eight characters. And there's a time edit. I'll type that in because I know it exists. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase. Dates uh, edits are are um, case insensitive. Okay, I've added these two fields. Let's go see what they do. Um, I'm pretty sure you would know, but uh, I'm creating a new screen. By the way. And now I'll go back out and let's go into File Pro and we'll go to screen um, zero on this file. Now you see what File Pro did? It added the R field, the reserved field, which bothers me always. And I'm, I'm even, I'm even anal enough to immediately go back out. And even though we're just going to use it for a moment, I will go to Define Screens on the VG file, pick zero, and just temporarily press the up arrow to get down here real quick and delete that. Why not? Okay, I'm going to go back into the file now and just uh, also to screen zero. And I'm going to show you what the date fields do. And I'll notice I got there really quickly before I'm pressing the up arrow. That takes me to the next field in that column. And, and up again. If I put date, if, you know that you can put a slash in any date type field. I hit enter and I get today's date. This is because it is a system edit and Papa knows what to do with it. It's a smart edit essentially. Popper knows to put today's date. And if you're in a time field, put a period, and Popper knows to put today's time. Well, you can see it's 5 o'clock in the morning, and I work pretty late. Now, obviously, if you don't have a date field, um, Popper won't be able to sort. I'm pressed escape, escape. Popper won't be able to sort by that date. If you want to see all these dates uh, record by record in order according to date chronologically, Papa needs this field to be a date type edit. One of the MDY, MMDY, YMDs, whatever it supplies. If you just put an eight character edit and let it be regular ASCII data without the date edit type, without any type of edit there, or maybe you make your own edit, Papa will not be able to sort by dates properly, and it will not be able to do any date math. For instance, let's say you wanted a birth date for someone. You want to put their birthday in here, and if you stored it without using the date edit, Fopper would not be able to ever tell you how old that person is. Whereas, it could easily do it if it was a date type field, because Fopper can add and subtract days and tell you the difference between days, between dates and how many days and so forth. Date math is possible because this is a special edit for file pro. And there are a couple more special edits. They are, um, if we go to define files, I'll show you what they are again. 
There, there are just a few. If I press update and I'm going to press F10 and look at the help, the next screen, you see there are some system edits here. They are the ones we were already looked at a couple of them. Um, there's low up. There's a blob field. That's a binary large object is what that stands for. That means Popper can store a sound file or, you know, a picture or BMP or something in a field. It can actually store bits, you know, bytes and nothing that you could type in on a keyboard. It can store, um, essentially higher ASCII data and stuff that, you know, makes up sound files and pictures and um, all the things that we play with on the net, bitmaps and JPEGs and stuff like that. Popper could store them in a field, in a blob type field. That's an actual type of data. A memo field is where you store text, like, um, you know, you can store as, as uh, lots of paragraphs of text. It's a type of a blob field, but the blob and memo type is one type of data. And then we have the um, some numeric fields like the the um, dot field for whole number dot zero rather for whole numbers we have um, a floating point field uh, that's that lets you put a, any varying number of decimal points or you have like dot two dot three for three decimal points four decimal points these are all numeric type data these system edits FAPRO can add and subtract and multiply and do all sorts of math on. These other glo as you progress down through to the global table of edits, these are not these are just regular edits. FAPRO really can't do correct math on all these and do various things with them that you need to do. And if this table, if there were any, would go down into my own user edits and I for this file, things that I've defined specifically for this file. And it would try and use those edits to do things. You know, I can I can make the edits do what I want them to do, but FAPRO could never perform math on them or date math or, you know, that kind of thing. So just realize that you should try and use the right edit for the right thing. FilePro will help you. And next I'll show you how to create a user edit of your own. That's uh, That FilePro would not supply one that you may need.